Hello gorgeous Aquarius, welcome to your monthly reading. I hope everyone is doing really well. Let's call in your angels and guides, spirit and source energy to be present during this reading to bring through the messages that you need to hear at this time. Be sure to connect in with your own intuition throughout the reading because this is how spirit speaks directly to you and spirit does want to bring through direct messages. Take notice of any signs, symbols, messages or anything at all that resonates on the cards because that is a direct message from spirit to you. So let's take a look at your first deck of cards here. Your first card is the squirrel. Always prepared is the key word. You are the expert of hard work and, and hard play. Your cheerful and fun disposition is a blessing to everyone. Don't let life's distractions take you off course. Make a plan for the future and life will give you all you need. This is a beautiful card, a beautiful energy. Um, it is important to make a plan. I feel that's the, the key takeaway here for some. Um, not for everyone, take what you will out of the card. But I'm also seeing that it is important for some though that there is a plan that needs to happen. You need to put a plan into action. Um, plan and then actualize that plan. It does look like hard work is a part of the month, but also you're going to play as well, play hard. You're going to balance that energy, which is really good to see. There is a cheerfulness, there is um, an uplifting energy, um, vibe, um, disposition that you have, which is going to be radiating out from you and it's going to be infecting others with this. And this is a good thing. So don't let any distractions take you off course, whatever that may be. So do not let that happen. Don't let distractions take you by the hand and lead you down a different path. Okay, distractions are not good this month. So just be aware of that. Let's see what your next card is, is the Peacock Vibrancy. It's about coming out of your shell, coming out of hibernation, showing the world the real you or a person, the real you, um, a makeover. This card can indicate a makeover. You are born to shine and inspire. Practice humility to avoid jealousy. Be grateful for life and more good things will come. Be true to yourself and recognize your brilliance. So yeah, recognizing your amazingness, your brilliance, your vibrancy. You have a lot to add to a situation, to a workplace, for example. You have a lot to add to a circumstance this month. Beautiful. Okay, let's see what this next deck reveals for you. Guidance for Aquarius, please, Spirit. Guidance for Aquarius. Let's see. Okay, this one here. Perspe uh, I was about to say perspective. Okay, so that's interesting, but it's actually perseverance. I know that I can do whatever I set my mind to. Okay, so um, perhaps you're needing to get a better perspective on things as well. But there's definitely perseverance here that needs to happen if you want to get something done or if a plan needs to be implemented. Um, yeah, that's what I'm seeing here. So persevere and you're going to um, you're going to have the reward or the benefit that you ultimately want at the end of the day, no matter how long this takes. I feel you've been waiting for this. I feel you've been waiting for something to come about something to happen. You've been waiting for something to happen. And I do feel that the month ahead is going to turn up a series of events that will be quite explosive, which when I see the symbol of an explosive, it means that things will happen fast um, or that it's um, a shocked um, vibration and it really gets things um, shaken up. Things get shaken up. Okay. So your next card is pride. I love myself and I see myself in everyone. So yes, you're going to be proud of an achievement, proud of what you've done so far, even if you're not at the end yet, even if you're not completing something, that's totally okay. This might resonate in another way for you, this pride card. Proud of the journey, proud of your healing, proud of a relationship. You know, there's so many different things. Place that energy where it fits for you, please. Let's see, Aquarius, this deck of cards for you. Wow, I love this. I love this beautiful butterfly here. Cocoon of white light. 
rest in perfect love understand oneness mm, understand oneness so mm, I feel that this comes back to this message here I see myself in everyone that's the wholeness that's the oneness I feel that you're becoming closer in a relationship with someone there's a oneness a wholeness to this connection you might be going to the next level in a romantic relationship for example hmm there's more of an opening up of your heart center. I can see that. And this is a transformative energy from the cocoon to the beautiful butterfly. So, yeah, there's something that you've been waiting on, which is the cocoon, that time period of waiting. And the butterfly is you being able to kind of see it in your life. It's reality. It's become reality. Uncalled relationships. Let go now. Forgiveness is freedom. So there's a message from spirit here about cutting cords, cutting relationships that no longer serve you, that are toxic, that are tumultuous. You need to let go, allow this person or this situation, it might be a situation, to, to fall away. Um, or if it's not, if you can't completely remove yourself from this situation, at least cut that cord so it's not attached to you in any way. Forgiveness is freedom as well, of course, and that can be quite difficult if you're in the grasp of emotions um, and your mind gets involved. So I feel that forgiveness is, you know, very important for healing for someone. All right, let's see what this deck reveals for you. Okay, so we have a card that's flipped right out there for you. And we'll take this one on top as well. Now this card, Aquarius, is gratitude. You fully appreciate the invaluable lessons that life lovingly presents to you. Very interesting. You fully appreciate the lessons that you have been through or that you're going through this month. There's a lesson to be learned mm -hmm. and you lovingly accept that. There's gratitude for that. So you're learning, definitely learning something through perhaps perseverance because it's right above it. So perhaps there's perseverance that you're, you know, that's the struggle or that's the lesson. Okay. And your next card is past. Well, also because we have past right next to this gratitude card, of course, of course, it can mean um, you're thankful for the lessons of your past. OK, and, and there might also be um, forgiveness here as well. Through the power of love, you release any stagnant situations or energy in order to transform your heart space. So definitely this relationship, letting go of something or a situation, also forgiveness, um, being aware that there are lessons that have been learned, being proud of yourself for this, well, how you handled this situation. Um, you did the very best that you could in the circumstances. Um, yeah, so, so those energies are definitely connected. Let's see what this deck reveals for you. Ego, which is the devil card. Uh, so this may actually be a Capricorn. You may have a Capricorn that's significant in your life at the moment. You may feel that you're trapped in your situation, but that's not true. Be careful not to overly focus on material wealth and break free of negative thinking. Okay, so be aware of any negative thinking and um, also an over focus on material wealth, possessions, um, status, this type of thing. Be careful there's not an over focus on this. Um, but whatever situation that you feel trapped in, if this card does indeed resonate for you, um, it's not true. You can actually, you can actually remove yourself. You can actually... Um, you can change, uh, might be to do with this, um, waiting or this transformation that's happening for you. The two of spring, your vision, creativity, and dedication to your cause have brought you great success. 
In fact, it may be in your best interest to get a partner to assist in your endeavors or expand the number of people helping you. So that may resonate for you. It might be a good time to get a partner or someone who can assist or help in a situation. There is also that message again coming through of dedication. So perseverance, dedication to something is definitely going to pay off. You have several cards with the same message, so it's definitely going to pay off. There is success there for you. The three of autumn, your most satisfying and profitable career comes from following your passions, listening to your heart and doing what brings you joy. Your life purpose is best fulfilled by allowing your talents and true self to shine forth out into the world. So, um, yeah, it's really about accessing your true talents, what you're really passionate about. And that can be that can change throughout life. So something that you were passionate about a while ago, years ago, doesn't necessarily mean that that's a part of your journey now because it does change. So I feel that there might be a reevaluation of your priorities, of what is right for you at the moment and, and what your passions are. So if this resonates for you, listen to your heart and do what brings you joy. The seven of spring, be assertive, believe in yourself and don't let anyone take away your personal power. Trust that your inner guidance is true and follow it completely. Really listen to that little voice inside you, that intuition that is talking to you this month because it's not going to lead you astray. Believe in yourself. You know, there's this confidence that you have. Tap into some peacock energy of vibrancy and pride and all of these things. Have confidence in what you're doing and believe in yourself and also be assertive as well and, and have that energy um, around you and don't let anyone, of course, take away that personal power. The aid of spring. You've been presented with many wonderful opportunities all at once. So this energy is about um, things happening fast and things happening swiftly and mm, happening all at once. Opportunities, um, conversations, it all comes at once. Okay, this month there's a there's an energy that's going to come at once. Many things happening at once. While this may feel very stressful, remember to be grateful for the blessings that heaven sends you. Okay, so there's some stress involved here. Spirit's pointing that out. But remember to be grateful for the blessings that are sent your way because blessings are definitely going to be sent your way, Aquarius. So you have some amazing cards. You really do. I really hope you've received some messages meant for you in this reading. I will talk to you all again soon. I hope you have a fantastic month ahead.